Hello friends, welcome to Mathematics YouTube channel. Friends, this is a second video for gear train example. So let's start in a reverted epicyclic gear train. So you can see in figure this is a reverted gear train, right? The arm A carries two gear B and C and a compound gear D E. So here arm A carries two gear B C and compound gear that is D and E okay the gear B mesh with gear E so here you can see this is gear B mesh with gear E and gear C that mesh with gear D okay now the number of teeth on B C and D so here TB is equal to 75 teeth TC is equal to 30 teeth and TD is equal to 90 so TB teeth of this B gear that is 75 teeth of gear C that is 30 and teeth of gear D that is 90 okay now find the speed and direction of the gear C we have to find the speed that is NC and the direction whether it is clockwise or anti-clockwise that we have to find when gear B is fixed and arm A makes 100 rpm clockwise when gear B is fixed and arm A makes 100 rpm in a clockwise direction. So here given data TB, TC and TD is given. NA because of clockwise we consider it as a negative. So minus 100 this is rpm and we have to find NC okay gear C direction of gear C and speed of gear C NC and uh, direction right. So first of all let us find the number of teeth on E because TE is not given here. So number of teeth on E DC plus DD that is DC diameter of C plus DD is equal to DB plus DE. So it should be equal to right. So same here if diameter is equal to then it is teeth is also equal to. So here teeth of C and D is equal to teeth of B and E right. So here C, D and B teeth is given here. So we can find easily TE okay. So TE is equal to 45 number of teeth right of gear E. Now for gear train you must know this table okay. So here this is a condition of motion okay. So and this is a revolution of element. So we have gear A, gear B, then compound gear. This is a compound gear. Uh, we have D and E. Okay. So this is for the compound gear and this is gear C. Okay. So first is when the arm is fixed, gear A rotate to plus one. Okay. So instead of gear A, here we can say gear B, right? Because here this is a typing mistake. So arm here you can see this figure arm is A okay and here G, gear B so here arm A is fixed and gear B is rotated 1 rpm right so arm A uh, arm is fixed that is A and gear B rotated plus 1 revolution okay so arm A fixed so 0 and gear B rotated plus 1 this is a compound gear and this is not necessary for this example but compound gear here you can say minus TB upon TE. But if you see about gear C, if we see about gear C then B upon E you can see here B TB upon TE into TD upon TC okay we can say TB upon TE is equal to TD uh, into TD upon TC. Okay, so this is about gear C when arm is fixed. Now let's have a x number of revolution for each. So here 0 x multiply over here uh, in gear C as well as compound gear. Okay, now you can see then add y revolutions to all elements. So plus y added to all and total motion is here for arm A is y gear B is x plus y then 
here combined gear d and e that is y minus x tb upon te actually here minus missing so y minus x tb upon te and gear c y plus x tb upon te into td upon tc so if you understand this table you can easily find out the answer okay now what here given gear b is fixed and a makes 100 rpm clockwise so here when we consider gear b is fixed so the total motion of gear b x plus y is equal to 0 gear b x plus y is equal to 0 and what is here y that is minus 100 okay so here y that is the rotation of arm and it is clockwise so minus 100 so y is equal to we can say minus 100 so x is equal to 100 so by that way we can find out the x and finally we have to find the nc so here gear c and total motion nc is equal to y plus x tb upon te into td upon tc okay so here minus 100 plus here x is equal to 100 so 100 tb is equal to 75 te is equal to 45 td is equal to 90 and tc is equal to 38 so all the gear teeth we know here right tc td tb and te okay so here all the gears uh, number of gears if we put here then we will have an answer that is nc is equal to 400 rpm and because of this is a plus it is rotated in anti clockwise direction okay so by this way we can find out the rpm of gear and what kind of rotation means direction it is anti clockwise okay so this is a by this way you can solve the problem of gear train okay friends if you have a doubt of anything then you can ask me by a message and uh, and if you like this video then press the like button share this video and subscribe my channel thank you jai hind jai bharat